Welcome to episode 13 of this platformer tutorial series. In this episode, we'll look at how to create a main menu. So let's get started. So first off, we will locate the scenes folder right here. So let's open that up. And we have our two levels, so level one and level two right here. And we'll create a third one. So right click, go to create, go to scene and choose a scene. We'll call this main menu. Now open that up. In here, we'll right click in the hierarchy, then go to UI and choose a canvas. This creates a canvas and an event system. Now double click on the canvas game object. This shows us the entire canvas. And now we can right click on our canvas and go to UI and then choose a text, text mesh pro. This will be the title for our main menu. So I will align it to the center and to the middle and I'll set the font style to bold and I'll just call it 2D platformer. I'll also set wrapping mode to no wrap and then I'll upscale the font size to maybe a 70 and I'll drag it a bit up like so. Now let's click on the main camera and change the background type to solid color. And now we can choose a color for the background. I'll just do a lighter blue like this. You can do whatever you want. Then let's also rename this text to title text. And let's now create the buttons. So right click on the canvas again, go to UI and choose a button text mesh pro. I'll call this first button for start button. Then I'll open it up like that. And the text right here, I'll write start. I'll set that to bold too. Then I'll click on the start button again and change the source image to none. This makes it look better. And we can now set the width to a 300 by 60. And I'll just move it a bit up like so. So now we have our start button and let's create the quit button. So copy the start button like so and drag it a bit down and I'll call it quit button. And on the text right here, I'll write quit. So now we have a very simple main menu with a start button and a quit button. But right now, if we start the game and click on these, nothing happens. So let's fix that. So go to asset, then go to scripts and we'll create a new script. So right click, go to create and do mono behavior script. And I'll call this main menu. Now open that up. In here, we'll delete the start and update function and then we'll add a new library. So we will do using Unity engine dot scene management. So now we can easily load scenes using this library. And in here, we'll create a public void called start game. And we'll also create a public void called quit game. So when we click the start button, this will be activated. And when we click the quit button, this will be activated. So in our start game function right here, we'll write scene manager dot load scene where we'll write the name of the first level. So in this case, it's called game scene. So if we go into Unity right now, go to assets and go to scenes, our level one right here is called game scene. So just write the exact same thing and add the semicolon. And for the quit, we'll just do application.quit. And this will only work when we build the game. So it won't work in the editor if you actually click the quit button. Now let's head out into Unity again and we'll click on the canvas. Then we'll add the main menu script right here. Then we'll click on the start button and we'll scroll down to see the whole button component right here where we have this on click event. So click on the plus icon and then drag the canvas right here and go to no function and choose main menu. And for this one, this is the start button. So we'll do start game. And I can see I made an error right there. So let me just fix that. So we'll do start game instead like that. Let's go back into Unity and let's see if it updates right here. Uh, no, so let's just click on it again. Go to main menu and choose start game. Then we'll do the same thing for the quit button. So click on that and then click on the plus icon for the on click event and drag the canvas onto here. Go to no function, main menu and quit game. So now when we play and we click the quit button, nothing should happen because we haven't built the game. But if we click on the start button, we load the game. So that works perfectly, but we also have the pause menu. And when we click this one right now, nothing happens. So let's just fix that real quick. So go to assets, then go to scripts and find the pause menu script right here. And right now we have this function, which tries to load a scene, but we haven't input the name yet. So we'll just do main menu. And I think it was with a space. So let's just look, go to scenes right here. And yes, there's a space right here. So just write the exact same thing as the name of the scene right here. So now when we play the game and hit click start, 
and click on the main menu, we go back to the main menu. So that works perfectly. So that's all for this video. If you have suggestions for more videos in this series, where I keep on building on this 2D platformer game, please let me know. And also if you're interested in going more in depth with Unity and you have a hard time with all of these YouTube tutorials and you just keep scrolling through them and you don't feel like you really get that much progress and you still can't make your own game on your own, well then check out my paid community. There's a link for that in the description and the pinned comment. But yeah, see you in the next episode.